Hello everyone. My name is Vedant and welcome back to the Skill Basics channel. In this video, I will be explaining to you bar plots in Seaborn. First, we'll look at some examples of bar plots and then we will code attractive bar plots in Seaborn. Here is an example of a plot with modes of payment like check, credit card, debit card, digital wallet and cash on the x axis with the average amount spent for the particular mode of payment in dollars on the y axis in the form of bars here is another example where we have types of devices like desktop mobile and tablet on the x axis and the number of visits per device on the y axis in the form of bars you can also observe that if we change the ordering of the bars suppose we bring tablet in the first then desktop and then mobile then the bar plot conveys the same thing we should only be careful that we don't change the actual numerical value of the bars the bar plots don't need to have only positive values in this example of the annual variance of budget for a particular company uh, we can see that the variance of budget for the sales marketing and development department of the company is in negative values whereas the variance of the budget for the operations and finance department is in the positive values now let us look at how to plot attractive bar charts in seaborn the first thing we have to do before charting our plots is that we have to import some necessary libraries these are uh, the numpy library pandas library seaborn and the matplotlib library seaborn provides us with some pre processed data sets that we can easily import into our notebooks uh, to draw plots you can get a list of all the data sets uh, which are present in seaborn by typing uh, get data get data set names uh, function okay so here are the list of all the pre processed data sets that are present in seaborn and can be imported very easily for this tutorial i will be working with the tips dataset to import any dataset from uh, the seaborn library to our notebook we are going to use the load dataset function and give the name of the dataset as a parameter okay now you can see the whole dataset uh, is here uh we can view only the first five columns uh by uh using the head function of pandas so let me first store this in a variable called tips and now i will call tips dot head um okay now you can see that we have uh the following columns in this data set they are total bill tip sex smoker day time and size now let us draw a very simple bar plot in seaborn for this you can use the bar plot function and provide the x axis uh, let me say as day and the y axis as total bill and now if we also have to provide the source of the data here our source is the uh, tips data set which i have stored in a variable called tips so let me call that here okay now you can see that we have successfully plotted our first bar chart in seaborn uh, this bar chart has uh, the days on the x axis and the total bill value on the y axis do not worry about this black bars which are present on the bars i will be explaining about these bars in the next video now let us look at one of the most important attributes uh, for bar plots in seaborn that is the hue attribute hue attribute splits the bars based on the different types of values that are present in a particular column let me show you with an example so let me copy this first and i will provide the hue as uh let's say the 
sex column here. Okay, now you can see that each bar has been divided into two separate bars. Why is this happening? Let us go back to our data set and here we can see that the sex column has two types of values. One is female and the other is male. That is the reason that each bar gets divided into two separate bars, which is for one is for males and the other is for females. This way we will get more insight about our data. Now let us look at how to import inbuilt palettes from Seaborn and later we'll also see how to use our own custom palettes in Seaborn. So let us view some palettes. So you can do this by using sns.color palette function and now let me give some name as deep. You can also specify an argument and in the form of an integer where the uh, Seaborn library will print those many colors from the deep palette. So let me show you with an example. So if I give 10 here, okay, I made a mistake here, okay. But here you can see that instead of getting the colors itself, we are getting a string of numbers. So this is not what we expected. To fix this, uh, we should even add a palplot function here. So let me do that. We have to surround the sns.color palette function uh, with the palplot function and then when I execute, you can see that we get 10 different colors that are present in the deep palette. If we change this to say 5, then we will get 5 different colors which are present in the deep palette. There are different types of palette in Seaborn. One is deep, light, winter and spring. I will put a link in the description below. Uh, which gives a list of all the palettes that are available in Seaborn to check it out. Uh, let me give you an, another example first. So if you give something like, uh, let's say, spring palette, specify we want six colors. So we get six different colors uh, from the spring palette. Now we'll look at how to create our own custom palettes in Seaborn. So first we have to give the colors of our palette in the form of a list. So let me give red, blue and green color. And now we have to set this list, which is our custom palette of colors as the current palette. To do this, we'll use sns.setPalette function and give the name of the list as an argument. Finally, to view this palette like we did for the inbuilt palettes, we'll be using the palplot function. Now sns.palplot and let's give sns.color palette. Now if we execute Okay, there's a mistake here. Okay, now it should work fine. Okay, now you see that we get a custom palette of our own with the colors that I've mentioned in the list. You can not only draw vertical bar plots in Seaborn, but you can also plot horizontal ones. Let me show you with an example. So let me copy this. Paste it here. I will give the uh, x axis as the total bill and the y axis as the day. Let me remove the hue here. Okay, now you can see that we get a nice horizontal bar plot in Seaborn. You can also change the ordering of the bars uh, using the order attribute. I will show you with an example now. Let me use the same thing. And we can specify the order attribute and in a list, we can give the order which we want. So, okay, let me just change this first. Let me make this day and then total bill. Though it doesn't matter, but uh, I'm just showing it for simplicity. Okay, now 
Uh, we can change the order of the day like we can give something like okay well, hold on i'll just print uh, the plot first so that uh, you can understand better yes now uh, let me copy the same thing and let us change the order now so we can specify the order as uh, let's say we want Sunday to come first, so let's specify Sunday, then we'll specify Friday and uh, then you can specify Thursday and in the end, uh, Saturday is what is left out, Your comma. And now you can see that uh, the ordering of the bars is changed. So Sunday comes first, then comes Friday, Thursday and then Saturday. But remember that the numerical values of the bars does not change. This was all there for this video. In the next video, we will continue our discussion with uh, bar plots. I will show you some other things that you can do to customize your bar plots. Now comes the most interesting part of this tutorial, which is the exercises. I have this exercise link in the description box below. and. I request you to please solve the exercise, the questions on your own for about one to two hours before checking the solutions. Exercise and practice is the only way to get better at data visualization. I have also the uh, link for the uh, notebook that I used in this tutorial in the description box. If you have any queries or doubts regarding the content or if you have problems regarding the audio or video quality of this video please comment down below and i'll uh, respond to them as soon as possible in the next video we will be discussing more about bar plots in seaborn and how to customize them to make our charts look more beautiful and nice